Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Star Drop here, and today we're going to be starting a brand new guide. And as you can see, we're doing Kingdom Hearts 2. Uh, this is a PS3 version of the game. It's technically it's titled Kingdom Hearts HD 2.5, and 2 is written in Ro Roman numerals for some reason. I think it's always been like that for Kingdom Hearts games. Uh, remix. <laughs> Um, I know I was, I'm in the middle of another Let's Play, but I've decided to just put that one on hold for now um, and focus on what my channel is really meant to do. Um, it's been over a year since I made this channel and I really just want to focus on one thing, which is basically pushing out guides that are helpful to people playing a game. So even though uh, Kingdom Hearts 2 is not one of those games where, you know, if you don't do this, you're screwed for the rest of the game. No, it's nothing like that. But uh, at certain parts of the game, it is more convenient to look up a video guide than it is uh, a written walkthrough. And um, that's exactly the reason I do this. Uh, it's to make it just easier for anyone watching and obviously for everyone to have a good time. And um, also one of the bigger bigger reasons that I'm doing this guide is I know Square Enix and Disney are planning to uh, release Kingdom Hearts 3 soon. We don't know when yet, they just refuse to tell us, but I predict it's going to be within a year. And when that happens, I feel like it's going to be attracting a larger audience. So even though uh, people are not Kingdom Hearts fans, they're going to they're gonna come to the game. And what I uh, predict will happen is they're going to start Kingdom Hearts from the very beginning. So they're going to do one first, and then two first, and then three. That's usually how people play games. For me, for example, um, I didn't, I didn't really play uh, Kingdom Hearts one when it first came out. No, it, it was literally ten years after that uh, when this game that I'm playing, 2.5 HD Remix for the PS3, when that was announced, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna pick up Kingdom Hearts, and it's a great game, it's a great franchise, and I love it. Um, I've already completed this game, so I'm quite confident in my ability to be able to provide a very useful guide. Um, hopefully, at least. <laughs> it went quite well for the... Um, it went reasonably well, I can say, for my Final Fantasy X-2 guide. And I'm hoping it will be the same for this game. And I know this introduction is pretty long, so skip ahead another two minutes if you want. But basically, I want to introduce this um, this package for PS3. If you haven't picked it up already, I recommend you do. If you have a PS3 and you like Kingdom Hearts, there's no reason to not pick this game up, even if you have already played uh, 2, Birth by Sleep, and um, RE Coded, even though Coded it's, it's more like a movie and not a game. So, at least in this version of the package. So, um, yeah, it's, it's probably just 30 or 40 dollars now. Probably even cheaper if you get it used. Um, so, if you don't feel like watching this guide right now, subscribe to my channel, and um, when Kingdom Hearts 3 comes out and you feel like revisiting the good old days of Kingdom Hearts, which... When was this game released? Like, 10 years ago? Oh my goodness, I don't even remember. But, um, yeah, hit that subscribe button, and you can watch it later. But anyways, we're going to start this game now, and it's going to be a fun ride, and I'm... If I were to predict how long it would take to completely master this game, like get literally everything, all the trophies, um, all the keyblades, all the synthesis stuff, and all the little side little things that you can get in this game, probably 100 hours, maybe uh, plus minus 10 hours, if you're fast, maybe even 80 hours. Um, for me, it's probably going to be around that time, and it's going to be a <laughs> great time again. It's been about a year since I played this, so hopefully I haven't gotten too rusty, but if I have, I apologize in advance. Alright, so we are on the title screen here. This is the exact same title screen as the Kingdom Hearts 1, uh, 1.5 really, HD remix, um, except for the, the picture has changed, but you know, the style of the title page is still exactly the same. I have no new save files because um, I'm playing on a different account, <laughs> different PS3 account that is. So we're going to start a new game. They give us four difficulties to start with. Uh, beginner, Standard, Proud, and Critical. Now, if you're going for all the trophies in this game, you could literally get all of them if you start the game on Critical. But trust me, you don't want to do that unless you are just so confident in your ability to, <laughs> uh, to finish everything in this game on the hardest difficulty possible. That includes all the optional bosses towards the end of the game. I'm not going to put myself through that 
because it's ridiculous. <laughs> Um, so I'm gonna be starting the game on standard. I probably should do proud because this game is quite easy on standard, but that's okay because uh, if uh, again you're going for all the trophies, the, trof the difficulty trophies of this game actually do stack, which means if you finish it on critical, you'll get the trophies for proud, standard, and beginner. So it really doesn't matter how you start the game uh, to begin with. You can get every single trophy in this game. Uh, except for you know the um, the trophies for the difficulties, which you can clean up with a second playthrough uh, with critical mode. Um, just a little bit of a, a advice: if you do start on critical mode, um, well, if you don't start on critical mode, really, uh, if you don't do that, then you're gonna have to play the game at least twice, which is okay because after the first run, you're pretty much um, used to it. And uh, critical mode is really just about figuring how to dodge, counter, parry, all that good stuff. Um, but we're going to be starting on standard mode. I think... Oh, man. I don't remember. But the PS2 version didn't have this critical mode, I think. I don't remember anymore. <laughs> um, either way, the games are very, very similar. They call it 2.5 Final Mix, was it called? Yeah. Um, the only real difference is you can get an additional drive, uh, drive form in this... Uh, HD mix for the PlayStation 3, uh, which is, I don't remember what it's called, damn it. <laughs> damn, I forgot so much about this game, but don't worry, I got this, I can still I can still do a good guide. Okay, so we're going to start on standard, as I said, um, vibration, I don't really care for vibration, but since it's there, why not? Begin with these settings, yes sir. I'm a little bit afraid to keep this intro part of the game in because I know the song is copyrighted and they're gonna they're gonna do something with that in YouTube. So if you if you guys are playing along with me, then you can just watch it yourself. Um, I'm going to skip right over this and it's gonna go to the first part of the game. It's gonna start right now. It's a pretty cool opening sequence. The song is amazing. But I am going to be skipping over it. Uh, a scattered dream that's like a far-off memory. Right. What's happening a here is Sora like is kind dream. of recollect, uh, recalling on his past, which is Yours let's see, mine. which is this plot of Kingdom Hearts One, uh, RE Chain of Memories, and what was it? Was three hundred? Well, that little other game for the. Yes, you know what it is. <laughs> Anyways, skipping right ahead. Alright guys, here we go. I'll keep commentary during cutscenes to a minimum, but when I need to speak, I need to speak. I can't help it. I'm, I'm just like that. Ah. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> Another dream about him. Okay, so we have the classic Kingdom Hearts little town introduction. It's always been like this. Twilight Town, this one is called. It's a nice little alliteration. Even though it's just two words. Uh, keep in mind that the opening or the introduction of this game is ridiculously long. It's unreasonably long, actually. So, this is the introduction part. Not too thrilled to go, with it, uh, to go through with it again. But it's something you gotta do, and there are a couple of choices you can make. Man, does that tick you off? Yeah, that's just wrong. The Cypher's gone too far this time. I mean, it's true that stuff's been stolen around town, and we've got a score to settle with Cypher and everything. So, if he wants to think we did it, I can't really blame him. See, that's not what really bugs me. 
What really bugs me is that he's going around telling everybody we're the thieves. Now the whole town and their mothers are treating us like the Klepto Club. Have you ever been this ticked off before in your life? Because I haven't. Nuh-uh. Never. Now, what to do? We could find the real thieves. That would set the record straight. Hey, that sounds fun. But what about Cypher? First, we gotta clear our names. Once we find the real culprit, everyone will get off our backs. Uh... Oh no! They're gone! Our... are gone! Uh... 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 What? All are gone? Huh? 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 You can't say... why not? But you do understand what I'm saying, right? Our... are gone! Stolen. And not just the... the word. They stole it, too. What kind of thief is that? Cypher could never have pulled that off. Yeah. All right. Time for some recon. Huh? It's kind of funny His because heart is returning. I literally don't remember Doubtless any. he'll awaken very soon. Any names of those characters? Well, that's Roxas, obviously, but that's only because he's the main character. <laughs> oh, and the girl is called Olet, and I only huh? remember that because I know a person called Olet. Well, her last name is Olet. Yeah. Roxas, come on. For the other two dudes, nope. Not a single clue what they're called. Not anymore. I'm sure we'll find out eventually. In like 20 seconds. Okay, so as you start up the game, they're gonna give you a nice tutorial. And what really, really ticks, ticks me off about Kingdom Hearts is that the game starts you off in inverted. Uh, the x-axis is inverted. Okay, the y-axis is fine. But x is inverted. And they say it's normal, uh, quotation marks, you know, normal, but it's not. It's it's totally reverted, uh, inverted. And you can't change it. You can't change it until you're like, I don't know, half an hour into the game, and that really, really annoys me. Ah, anyways. First mission. Clean and simple. Simple and, simple and clean, I should say. <laughs> uh, reach the armor shop. So, not much going on here. I'm going to be quickly scrolling through the text. I think even so, you can still read what's going on. Um, oh no, somebody, somebody stole stuff. But I won't tell you who's stealing the stuff, what they stole. Go ask her instead. <laughs> it's kind of like a depressing little town, if you, if you ask me. These shops are like in like big block buildings. Uh, what's it saying? Reaction commands, yeah. This game uses a lot of reaction commands, so triangle. There are a couple in the first game, but this game really just abuses it. Every opportunity you get, you could use triangle to do something. Okay, so that's the jump button. The triangle does nothing, square does nothing. Yeah, let's just talk to this. Reaction commands are very useful, they are indeed. So you know what, I'm going to try to uh, run through the introduction as quickly as possible. I mean, it won't be much faster if I were to you know, take my time. Because a lot of this stuff is cutscenes and tutorial stuff. Um, what, what button was it again? Uh -huh, I don't know. There we go, R1. R1 is to lock on. Um, and R1 again to cancel. Pretty useful thing in this game. 
but I don't find myself using it too often unless there's just too many enemies and I really really want to focus on one. Cypher is a character from Final Fantasy VIII, if um, you guys don't know. We've got to talk to him, come on, to the sand logs. Alright. Oh yeah, you might be asking yourself, or asking me, if I am doing this in preparation for Kingdom Hearts 3, why am I not starting with the first game? It's simply because Kingdom Hearts 2 is just so much better. I'm sorry to you Kingdom Hearts 1 fans, but face backs man, 2 is better. It's, it's not debatable. I'm sorry. Thieves! That was low, you know? Oh yeah? Nice comeback there, Blondie. What'd you say? You can give us back the... now. Yeah, you're the only ones who would take it, you know? That was undeniable proof that we totally owned you, lamers. So what did you do? Burn it? Huh, <laughs> not that we need some... to prove that you're losers. Replay. <laughs> now you're talking! I guess if you get on your knees and beg, maybe I'll let it slide. <laughs> Roxas! He has that much time to dash for those weapons without Cypher doing anything about it, right? Right. Obviously. Uh, here is the first the small decision in the game. We can pick one of three weapons. Um, you, can, you can press triangle to, to take a look at what it is. This is a staff. Um, if you pick this, you'll begin with one extra magic stat. Oh, I didn't mean to select it. But it doesn't really matter, but uh, I, meant, I meant to go to the other two. It doesn't change much. Selecting this one will give you one more magic. Selecting the sword will give you one more defense. And selecting the other one, I don't remember where it was. That one will give you one more attack. I would have selected the one that gave you one more attack, but ultimately, in the end, because uh, you part of completing this game and getting to level 99 anyways, this stat increase is very minimal, and it doesn't matter that much at all. So, let's just take the staff. Magic plus one. If you were wondering if it changes anything else about Roxas your gameplay, focus. it doesn't. It doesn't at all. Uh, in Kingdom Hearts 1, your choice of the sword, shield, and staff at the beginning Neo, was loser. extremely important. And we're going to have to make one of those decisions later as well. But this decision is... is uh, it doesn't have much consequence. Alright. Safe, uh, I can't block you, but the battle is pretty straightforward. Just spam to attack. That's it. Wow. Come on. Quit playing around and fight. No, I guess I wasn't it. By the way, the you know, loser. I'm totally not digging that midriff. If you're going to be wearing a trench coat, make sure you cover up your... Good <laughs> <laughs> advice. I'm no fashionista or anything, but that's important. Isn't this romantic? Oh yeah. Don't leave me hanging now. Isn't this romantic? Yeah. Don't okay, leave I'm so sorry, ass. guys. Um, in the last maybe um, minute, a couple of minutes or so, my commentary is really quiet. I'm not sure what, what really happened, but I got to figure it out. So my voice should be. Okay now, and if it's not, you guys will let me know once it goes up. I'm not going to record, <laughs> re-record any more um, gameplay. It's it's not easy to at the very beginning of the game. But anyways, um, I was just saying. Okay, so we can see the cipher here. Not feeling so hot, you know. Tournament decides. But I was basically just saying. Uh, I accidentally uh, pressed on the staff. I wasn't Whoa. supposed. To, I was supposed to go check out the 
uh, other two, the sword and the and the other one. Um, but was I was, that? it doesn't make the much thief? of a dis difference. That's what I was saying in a very quiet voice. If you heard me, good. If you didn't hear me, I can just explain it now. Um, choosing the staffs gives you a permanent plus one magic to begin with. Choosing the sword gives you a plus one attack and choosing the other one, I think was a shield or guard of some sort. Sorry, choosing the sword gives you the defense. I have to remember properly. Staffs gives you magic. Sword gives you the defense because apparently it's hilt and stop attacks. And choosing the other one gives you the attack. Okay. Now that's out of the way. Uh, let's continue on here. So we're following this little dude. Little dude. Uh, into the old mansion. And um, I think this area was in Chain of Memories. But I'm not 100% sure anymore. It's, it's been so long. I first played Hannah Memories on the Game Boy Color. Can you can you imagine? Oh my goodness, that that game uh, when it was remade for the PS1 and actually sorry for the PS3, uh, the, the entire gameplay actually changed. But yeah. Okay, so um, let's just go over there and talk to this little thing. Press triangle. Well, triangle is pretty much used for everything in this game. Except for attack and dodge. We have come for you, my liege. Ah, huh? oh, it's creepy. Why is his mouth like that? Yeah. Okay, so yeah. we are fighting this thing. And really, there's nothing you can do in this fight to win. As you can see, I'm hitting it. And he's hitting me back. I can't hit him. Um, but you could press triangle to use the skill card reversal, which is specific to this enemy. You can't use reversal anywhere else. You can't use it on other enemies. Uh, but, you know what? Like This fight is pretty futile. You can't win. Might as well just run around a little bit, try to dodge his attack. Oh my god, this got hit. It will end after a short period of time. I'm not 100% sure whether it will end after you take a certain amount of damage or if you've missed a certain number of hits, but it will end. What? What is this thing? Oh my god, therapy stick transforms into key. Silver magnetic key who that tr attracts to other silver things. <laughs> Alright, so now obviously we got the Keyblade. We'll be able to defeat this mysterious enemy as the game calls it. And I do recommend fighting him like this, so basically hit him twice, reversal, hit him twice, reversal, and continue the process. If you do it like this and it's just one of these enemies, it's extremely easy. Now particularly if you're playing on like a higher difficulty, like um, Proud or um, Critical, you kind of need to use that strategy because if you get hit once by that thing, oh my goodness, you take like half your health or maybe even more than that <laughs> something stupid something stupid like that but um, in standard obviously we can stand to take a couple of hits might as well do everything we can to uh, not take hits though since you know that's part of the game try to not take any damage all right so that part's done it scattered a bunch of photos hint hint the word photos May What's have this? been I was taking out of this game. After he took over the shop. <laughs> Anyways, let's so just watch the cutscene. together. It's a really nice photo. Oh, hey, you just said photo. So, Roxas, tell us about the picture thief. Not much to say. Pictures are just lying there. Then how do we prove we weren't the ones who took them? <laughs> it's a girl. You look happy, Roxas. Do not. So, like. Anybody else notice that all the stolen pictures are of Roxas? Oh, so that's why everyone thought it was us. And Cypher didn't go around accusing us after all. Are they really all of me? Yep. See? Look. Right? Every single one. Wouldn't it be weird if the thief wanted to steal the real Roxas or something? Come on, get serious. Why would anyone want to steal a bonehead like Roxas? Oh, thanks. 
Hey, there's a dartboard there. Oh, I never noticed. Not that it has to do with anything, but... I just never noticed there was a dartboard in this secret hideout of theirs. By the way, do these kids have homes, or do they just live in a dump like th uh, in a dump like this? Look at this place. It's clearly some kind of construction or <laughs> whatever place. It's not suited suitable for living, but apparently they just live here. Okay, so the sun is shining. And Where here's another strange thing. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't want to speak there? over any more cutscenes. Who are you? Restoration at 12%. Organization miscreants. They found us. But why would the nobody steal photographs? Both are nothing but data to them. The fools could never tell the difference. We are running out of time. Namine must make haste. Okay, so there's mysterious cutscene number five, I guess, by now. <laughs> and now oh. we're uh, back to the oh. very first Kingdom Hearts, huh? where Sora woke up oh. in Traverse Town. Where am I? What happened to my home? My island? Riku? Kai? Yeah, so Who it's recapping you? on. They will come at you on all that nowhere. stuff. All that good as stuff. As long as you continue to wield the Keyblade. Hey, why don't you come with us? We can go to other worlds on our vessel. Sora, go with them. Especially if you want to find your friends. Name's Goofy. I'm Sora. I'll go with you guys. The Heartless have great fear of the Keyblade. That's right. The Keyblade. So, this is the key. But the boy is a problem. He found one of the keyholes. Okay. So that was kind of a recap of what Kingdom Hearts 1 was about. Not really though. There's so many plot holes in that game. It's crazy. Blade? And I know they, they tried really hard to explain what this like um, organization 13 and this entire story about nobodies and, and that kind of stuff. They were they tried really hard to explain that stuff in Chain of Memories. But all that did is add more plot holes into the into the game. Clearly they made that game with uh, with Kingdom Hearts 2 in mind and that they really, really wanted to um, obviously make a Kingdom Hearts 2 to explain all that good stuff. And they do explain it pretty well. They explain it uh, in detail, even though a lot of the stuff you have to go and research yourself within the game. Um, everything is there, is what I meant to say. What was that about? Oh. And obviously that stick was just in the middle of the town, right? No trees anywhere, it's just... Sorry about that. Just branch. We don't need no stinking trees to grow branches. Oh man, I, I so want to talk about Organization 13, but it's just too many spoilers, I can't. I just can't. Thanks. Do you guys think we'll always be together like this? I sure hope so. Huh? Where did that come from? Uh, well, you know, just thinking out loud. Well, I doubt we could be together forever. But isn't that what growing up's all about? What's important isn't how often we see each other, but how often we think about each other. Right? <laughs> Get that off a fortune cookie? That's it. No more ice cream for you. Man, today's turning out to be a drag. Maybe because of yesterday's memory thief. Nuh-uh. You know what it is? We don't want summer vacation to be over, that's all. So, how about this? We all go to the beach. Why do we go to the beach? Because we haven't gone once this entire vacation. Blue seas, blue skies. Let's just get on the train and go.
No? Oh, come on. Maybe you forgot, but we're broke. Maybe you forgot I'm smart. <laughs> good one. I still don't remember your name, but a good one. Smart guy. Okay, so now it's teaching us how to save. And pretty straightforward. Triangle to save, that's right there. Press save, select the save file, boom. Saved. Just like that. Oh, speaking about spoilers, um I'm going to avoid any kind of spoilers related to this particular game, Kingdom Hearts 2. I won't guarantee that I won't spoil anything from Kingdom Hearts 1 or Chain of Memories or the other game. Um, damn it, why can't I remember the name of that game? Was it 356 slash 2 days? Is that what it was? I know it's a number that was close to 365. <laughs> I played it too, It's kind of it was kind of weird, but it, it is kind of like a... Um, uh, spin-off, side story. Oh, we got a map there, okay. Side thing. But, yeah. There might be a spoiler from there as well. The only thing I can't guarantee is, um... Uh, sorry, the only thing I can guarantee is that there will be no spoilers for Kingdom Hearts 2. Everything else is fair game, because this is a sequel, technically, right? Anyways, we're on the skateboard here, and, um, as you can see, Roxas can draw, jump ridiculously high for some reason, and because the skateboard thing is in this game, um, you can kind of predict that there's going to be some trophies, trophies are related to it, which there are, but we'll get to those later. So let's just move on right here. Just two days to go. You and I have to make the finals. That way, no matter who wins, four of us split the prize. Okay, you're on. You two are gonna clean up. Go get him. It's a promise. Let's get down to business. One ticket to the beach is 900. How much for four of us? 3600. And 300 each to spend there. What's that for all of us? Hold on, I thought you were smart. Why are you asking all these questions? <laughs> Obviously, the girl is the brains of the operation. Okay, pretzels, of course. What else? Well, there's always watermelon, but that costs too much. Two thousand money. Oh man, pretzels it is then. We ain't buying no stinking watermelon for two thousand money. So that's forty-eight hundred money altogether, and all we have is what do you got? Eight hundred, six fifty. That's fourteen fifty. And poor Roxas only has hundred and fifty, so sixteen hundred altogether. Oh, now he can do math. 16. <laughs> we need another 32. Oh boy. Blah, 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 blah. Get some money. 800 each. Meet us at the train station with cash in hand. Alright, good deal. Okay, so the way we collect money in this beginning portion of the game is by taking on these errands or jobs, if you want to call them, on this help wanted board. It's just a bunch of mini games. Basically, I think there were three or four in total, um, which is kind of boring, really. You just have to do them over and over again until you have enough money. But I think I'm going to leave that till a next part because we are going over 30 minutes. And but it's it's part one of this walkthrough, which you know it's allowed. And I'm not saying like videos can't go over 30 minutes, it's just when my videos go over 30 minutes, I have to do some really weird editing because of my software. I don't know, it's, it's still possible. <laughs> it just makes things harder for me. Anyways, um, we're going to be picking up on this guide next time. I'm super, super excited to be playing Kingdom Hearts 2 again, even though this is Kingdom Hearts 2.5. It's essentially the same thing as I said at the beginning of this video. Um, I'm hoping to get a lot of input from you guys, you know, subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, whatever you, uh, you, you, you do, you know, leave a comment, anything that tells me that you've enjoyed the video, that would be awesome, super um, supporting that. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, this is going to be a complete guide, and I'll probably get it done in, 
I can't I can't promise on a timeline right now obviously but I want to get it done before the end of this month which is the end of September 2015 that would be very very nice because there are some games coming out in October that I want to play so um, thank you guys very much for watching this episode of Kingdom Hearts 2 completion guide we're gonna see you next time